Hi everybody. So this video idea actually came from a student of mine and it's an amazing one. If you're working in a dental office, either as a dental assistant or a dental hygienist, and you, you want to help out, but you also don't want to be taken advantage of. You want to be a team player, but you don't want to be taken advantage of. So what am I getting at here? And I do have some personal experience examples for this too. So for example, I have worked in dental offices before where a cleaning company came in at the end of the day. I literally did didn't have to clean up anything. I did have to clean up, of course, and disinfect, sterilize after my patients, but I didn't have to sweep, mop, I didn't have to take out the garbages, I didn't have to do any of that stuff, clean the cabinets, um, you know, stuff like that, because a cleaning company came in. But that's not always the case. So let me start off by saying, you know, it is okay, like don't think you're being taken advantage of if you are asked to take out the garbage at the end of the night. But the thing is, it shouldn't just be you all the time. They should be kind of sharing the wealth, if that makes sense. Not just the dental assistants take out the garbage, not just the dental hygienist, not just the dental receptionist, but everybody should be sharing. I worked for an office in Kitchener where I felt everything was very fair. We all did do the cleaning, but we kind of shared responsibilities. At the end of the day, you're going to be exhausted. But what happened in Kitchener was, let's say a dental assistant was done first, I still had an another hour left they would actually mop um, but they would not mop my room because I was still in there so they would leave the mop for me to mop it quickly after my patient was done and then I would empty out the mop you know all of that stuff but they would also take care of the garbages because they could see that I was still working so we kind of shared things if I was ever done first I mean I'm exhausted I just want to go home but we all do have to help each other out so I didn't mind doing that you don't want to be that person who's like Ooh, I don't take out the garbages I don't wipe cupboards I don't do this or do that you do need to help out okay it kind of sucks because it's so much nicer when those offices do hire a cleaning company having that said though I've never had to clean a bathroom in a dental office okay so I would really hope they at least have a cleaning company for that because I kind of feel the same way I prefer to not work for that office if part of my responsibilities includes cleaning the office unless they want to pay me more I don't know that might sound silly but it's true that's not what I went to school for was cleaning garbages I have to do that enough at home I don't want to have to do it at the office but again, you don't want to be taken advantage of. So make sure you're not the only one doing the work. So what if you're the one emptying out the garbages, mopping, sweeping, the dental hygienist or dental assistants or whoever is in the office is basically sitting there, chatting it up, having a coffee. They get to go home early every day. No, that's not okay. I would bring that up at the next meeting. And you know what? If they have a problem with it, maybe that's not the office for you because you're not the maid. How are you going to bring that up? I would say, you know, I would like to bring up something. I'm exhausted at the end of the day, as I'm sure all of you are, but I'm the only one emptying out the garbages every night when I see people, you know, chatting it up in the lunchroom. I want you guys to have fun. I want you guys to have a great time, but I would really appreciate the help. I see how that's very passive aggressive and people might have a problem with you saying that, but guess what? You have a problem with, with emptying out the garbages every night. So it really depends on your personality. Maybe you're okay with that, but I personally wouldn't be and I wouldn't want to be taken advantage of. So if it didn't get better, I would go to the dentist and say like, you know, I feel like a maid. I'm exhausted at the end of the day. I'm the one mopping, sweeping, doing all of this while so-and-so is having a coffee in the back or they get to leave two hours early. Can maybe they start some of the cleaning duties because I've tried this before. It hasn't been working. Um, I really, I'm not hired to be the maid. So do you want to pay me $10 more per hour? I, I'm more than happy to do that for you. That is literally what I would say. So comment below though, if I didn't touch on something in this video, cause I've definitely had experience with this. I've worked in oh, maybe four different offices. I'm now a mobile dental hygienist. So I do have my own office, but I've worked in different ones where there's different rules. So comment below, let me know if any questions, cause I am happy to help. And I hope you're not being taken advantage of in your office. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.